what goes on, my fellow knights. It's like uh, almost 10 a.m. here, and Pokemon Direct's about to start, so I was just going to record my live reaction in case something fun happened. Uh, I got up early for this. <laughs> uh, so, I, I guess since we have like five minutes, I'll talk to what I kind of expect out of this. I'm going to either expect utter trolling from the Pokemon company and we're just going to get Pokken for Switch, or we're actually going to get something mainstream. Like, I'm I'm more focused on, I think what's more going to happen is that we're going to get screwed over, because that's n what normally happens with Pokemon, because they always screw us over, they always make us wanting more. But since E3 comes out next week, or yeah, next week? Yeah, I think it's next weekend or something. Um, I think they'll, um, announce Diamond and Pearl remakes, maybe? I, I would be very happy about those. It could be Sun and Moon sequels. I wouldn't be surprised to see, uh, Gen 2 on the Virtual Console, either. I start, I finally bought Pokemon Blue, and I'm playing through that right now. If you guys want content on it, I'll do it, but I don't see a point. <laughs> But I'm getting really excited. We got three minutes left. Can't wait for this to happen. What else could happen? Diamond and Pearl remakes and X and Y sequels are likely. Pokemon on the Switch is another thing. I'm gonna guess maybe it's gonna be a plethora of things. Maybe it'll be like Gen 2 Virtual Console, Pokemon on the Switch, because I know that was rumored. And then maybe like a little teaser for, um, uh, what's it called, for, um, the next game, kind of how they did for, uh, Sun and Moon and Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby, but I'm not sure about that. Oh, come on, the anticipation is getting high, man. You got, like, three minutes. I'm excited. Hope everybody here is too. <sighs> Maybe they'll also... We only have two event Pokemon, so I wouldn't be surprised if they just released the third event Pokemon. Well, it wouldn't, we would have data mined that by now, but maybe it's not even in the data mine. Maybe it'll be in the next game, kind of like how Magearna was. Because Magirna was in the Sun and Moon movie, or the, the Volcanion movie. I don't know, but we're two minutes away and I just don't want to talk anymore. I want to see this thing happen. Oh my god. The anticipation is real right now. I mean, the live chat's going freaking nuts. Okay, we got one minute left now. Come on. So, if I w if what I want happens, I'd love to see Diamond and Pearl remakes. I think that's the one thing I want the most, because uh, I think 4th Gen did a lot of things right, and I hope they could expand upon it. I think that'd be awesome, but I wouldn't mind um, Sun and Moon sequels. I wouldn't mind that. Um, yeah. And if Gen 2 Virtual Console happens, that just means it's easier to get hidden abilities in 2nd Gen, which I guess that's okay. I don't know anything that's hard to get in 2nd Gen, other than uh, the Legendary Dogs, because I know their hidden abilities aren't out yet, but they all got switched to Inner Focus, so I find them kind of useless. Because <laughs> pressure is better. Come on, come on, come on, it's 10 a.m., come on, start, 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 start. Oh, here we go. Hello, everyone. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Today, I'll be delivering the latest news about Pokemon from our offices. As many yep. of you know, Switch. Nintendo launched its new system, Nintendo Switch, on March 3rd. What's going to be put on it? You may even be playing some games on your own Nintendo Switch already. 
How can you? It's not even available anywhere. Finally, we are excited to announce a Pokemon game for the system. Our first title on Nintendo Switch will be the Pokemon fighting game. Yep, called it. Pokemon Tournament Deluxe. Yep, called it. We've prepared a special trailer to showcase the game. Please take a look. I totally called it. They better put new Pokemon in this game. Probably like all the DLC ones that you weren't able to get. Someone tells me this isn't it, though. Unless this trailer is eight minutes long. But I doubt they'd call Pokemon Direct just for this. Like, yeah, they're putting all the- Oh, they're- I just saw Decidueye. I just saw Decidueye. They're putting Decidueye in the game. Or was he a support Pokemon? I don't know. <gasps> nope, there's Decidueye. He's a fighter. Oh my god. That's awesome. I'm surprised they picked him over Litten. Or Incineroar. So there's gonna be new fighters. That's- if I ever get a Switch, I actually might get that game. <laughs> Not bad. Come on, don't take the entire Direct. I will be pissed. We've yeah. seen enough Pokémon. <laughs> Really? It's going to take that long? September? Oh, we just got X and Y sequels, didn't we? Or Sun and Moon sequels. What the fuck is that? Huh? Pokemon Ultra Sun, Pokemon Ultra Moon. Okay. I hope you enjoyed that. Pokemon Tournament Deluxe takes full advantage of the variety you piece of, of shit. Game modes made possible Oh my god, Switch. what was that? You can, of course, connect your console to a TV to enjoy dynamic Pokemon battles on a larger screen. Or if you want, you can play in tabletop mode, share one of your Well, there goes our ex there goes our Gen 4 remix. Anywhere. In the Wii U version of Pokemon Tournament, players could choose from 16 playable Pokemon. In addition to those, the Nintendo Switch version will include Darkrai, Scizor, Empoleon, and Krogunk, as well as Decidueye from Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon for a total of five new playable Pokemon. On top of that, you can enjoy three versus three team battles, as well as online ranked matches and friend-only group matches. We're really giving it the deluxe treatment. Pokémon Tournament Deluxe will launch on September 22nd. 
Go back to Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon. Come on, go back to that. Starting on June 13th in LA at this year's E3, yep, E3. one of the world's largest gaming conventions, we will have a playable demo for you to enjoy at the show. We're also planning on including this title on Nintendo Treehouse Live. In addition, the game will be featured in its own full-on invitational tournament at E3 as an on-stage event, which we're live streaming right from the show floor. So please look forward to it. As for Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon, which we announced in that new trailer just a few moments ago, I would like to pass it on to someone who can tell you more about it. Ooh, come on. Sh give us something good. Come on. I'm excited. Hello, everyone. I'm Masuda from Game. Masuda! I'd like Masuda, to my boy! You to the latest installments of the Pokemon series for the Nintendo 3DS family of systems Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon. These games offer an alternate story taking place in the world of Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon, featuring Pokemon that didn't appear in the original versions. New features will allow you to enjoy your adventure even more, making this truly... Okay, Luna looks flames. Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon will see a simultaneous global release on the Nintendo 3DS family of systems oh November God. 17th. Please stay tuned for more information. We're gonna wait that long and that's all you're gonna give us? Yep, and here's... Yep, I called everything. I called everything. I have one more announcement for you. This fall, we'll release Pokemon Gold version and Pokemon Silver version for the Virtual Console service on the 3DS. You gotta wait till 3DS. fall? You're an asshole. This Pokemon is bullshit. Pokemon Gold version and Pokemon Silver version were originally released in 1999 as the second installment in the Pokemon series. With these Virtual Console releases, we've recaptured all the fun of those original Game Boy Color games, and both will become compatible with the Pokemon Bank application. We hope you look forward to reliving the excitement all over again. The games will launch on the same day as Pokemon Tournament Deluxe, September 22nd. Wow. Thank you, Mr. Masuda. You're gonna make us wait we'll that be long. We'll on Pokemon Tournament Deluxe for Nintendo Switch, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon for Nintendo 3DS, and Pokemon Gold version and Pokemon Silver version for the Nintendo 3DS Virtual Console service for all of you Pokemon fans. Well, I called two things, but I'm pretty sure they were obvious. Alright, so when is... November 17th is a Friday. Cool. Well, the chat's going nuts. Yeah, I, I'm, I agree. So... I honestly think the only thing that we're going to get new out of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon is that we're going to get uh, more Alolan forms. Maybe some new Ultra Beasts, but that's about it. We're, that's might be everything we're getting out of that game, but Necrozma's going nuts. So... I wouldn't be surprised if we got, like, another trailer at E3, but I think that'll be it for a long-ass time. Which is sad. So, let's go to the Nintendo website again. Do you have the trailer up yet? No, you don't. You're slacking on me. So, let's go back in time. Oh, you just... You can, of course, connect your console to a TV to enjoy dynamic Pokemon battles on a larger screen. Or, if you want, you can play in tape... Hello, everyone. I'm Masuda from Game All right. Let's look I'd at like this trailer one more time. ...to the latest installments of the Pokemon series for the Nintendo 3DS family of systems, Pokemon Ultra Sun... Actually, I don't need that even... I don't need that muted. All right, so, alternate story... Anything out of the ordinary here? Doesn't look like it. Looks like everything in Alola just like went like... Like really, really like tr super tropical. We got a Pikachu van. Oh boy. Togedemaru, there's a Lycanroc. And then here we got like Solgaleo just like... Like what the hell is up with Solgaleo? Jesus. 
That thing is mad. And then you got, oh, Lunala, you're just a gorgeous baby. And then you got Mimikyu coming at you. And then that's it. These logos, though, they're kind of flames, honestly. So we got sequels instead, kind of like how Black and White 2 worked. I'm okay with this. I mean, I'm a little disappointed about no Gen 4 remakes, but... Mm, we can't always get what we want. I'm happy either way. I like the Alola region so far, and the game is kind of nice. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my initial reaction, but I'll pro this video will probably get flagged eventually. I don't know how this works exactly, so, yeah. Uh, have a great day. Uh, Pokemon USUM hype. <laughs> okay. Let's board the hype train. Hopefully we get something at E3. See ya.